Okay, today we will be doing a E4D exercise where we're going to scan and then design a restoration for a crown on tooth number 31. First, we're going to open the software. Then we're going to look for your for your name and if you don't find it then you need to create a new patient by clicking on add patient in this case we're gonna use number one example we're gonna double click on it and then we're gonna come to go to CAD CAM and then we're gonna select on new scan and design double click on it you're gonna click OK Okay. Now we're going to select what kind of restoration we're going to do. In this case we're going to do crown. It has already been selected. But always remember to select the type of restoration and then click on the tooth. Okay, so we got that and now we're going to select what kind of, how are we going to relate the upper and lower arches so we're gonna use the buckle and opposing then we're gonna select what kind of anatomy want for this we want for this restoration we're gonna select library A uh, the material we're gonna use which is IPS Emacs CAD we're gonna choose the low translucency and the shade A1 low translucency once we got all that selected we're gonna move on to the scan okay couple of things you need to uh, verify here is right over here on the lower left uh, corner of your screen we're gonna see the scanner and we need to see uh, this green line around it that means that the scan is ready to go okay so we we'll, we have already selected here the lower arch we're going to make sure that when we start scanning, we are placing the scanner like if this was a real patient and we are coming through uh, the lips and scanning coming from the anterior segment. That's because the, the software is able to uh, identify what's mesial, what's distal, what's buccal, and what's uh, lingual by doing that. Okay, so we're gonna grab the scanner and we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna start scanning number 30 on the occlusal surface. We're gonna go one tooth backwards and one tooth anterior. Once we got that, we're gonna turn to the buckle and then go distal okay once we got the three surfaces there we move to the lingual okay as you can see the new shots that we're taking is following and creating a new model with it we always need to make sure it is it is doing that okay as we scan we want to get rid of all those windows that we see okay, on the interproximals you will need to bend uh, and, and the scanner a little bit to be able to access those areas on the missile of number 32 it's kind of difficult so you can turn very slowly the scanner sideways like this and then you can kind of turn the scanner to be able to capture those areas on the mesial of the prep as well and then as well here and now we have a nice impression a nice scan of the impression on the neighbor teeth we're gonna click on generate model
to verify what we just scanned, we can move this model by using the wheel on the mouse. You can zoom in and zoom out. Then you can use the click on that wheel to move the model all around it like this. And if you use the right click, you will be able to turn it around like in this manner. So what are we looking for? We're looking for the margins. They are very neat. All the walls, the prep uh, itself. And then we're looking also at the neighbor teeth and the interproximal areas so that uh, we have a, a nice smooth area where we can create our, our restoration. Once we got that correct, then we're gonna move to the upper arch and we're gonna do the same. We're gonna position the scanner uh, in the right position and we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna scan the occlusal surfaces first of that area. Okay, and then turn to the buckle. Okay. In this case, we only need the occlusal and the buckle surfaces because that's what we need to be able to design the restoration. We're going to hit on generate model to verify that test and again we're gonna check on it it looks pretty well once we got that right then we're gonna go to buckle and you're gonna close your denoform in occlusion and you're gonna scan the teeth okay once we got that we can click on generate model as well Okay, check out over here that we have a red dot, I will explain you in a minute, okay, so we got now the scan for the upper, the lower and the buckle, okay, here this is the icon which as you can see is it says align buckle and this is where we're going to put the three scans together sometimes the software is able to relate them and put them all together but in this case uh, it was not able so we're gonna if if the software can do it it will be green but in this case it's red we're gonna click on it and we're gonna as you can see they are not aligned so the buckle scan is aligned with the upper as you can see but the lower is off so we need to grab the green and we're going to move it in position. Okay, so now everything is well aligned. And as you can see, it turned green. Okay, so we're good. Now that we did this, we can move to margin. Okay, the first step is to move and position that model and to be aligned with the 
the lingual and the buccal and the mesial and distal. Okay, as you can see there. Okay, so that there, there you go, it's right in the middle. We're gonna hit orientation. That means that that is the right position. Okay, since we did the scan using the scanner in the right position, uh, it was able to tell us, uh, give us like a, an approximate of how that looks. And then we just come and uh, do minor details. Now, we're going to zoom in into the prep and we need to define the margin. There are three techniques to, to do this procedure and the first one is paint where we're going to click on it and you basically you kind of go around the tooth you can move around and you're going to paint more or less where the margin goes and then you just click on paint and the software will give you the margin if you can see over here there's a slide uh, it's completely off slightly off so there you can add a segment by clicking over here and you can paint that over there add segment and that will correct it okay so now it's looking pretty good another technique to trace the margin is by clicking on the margin and you go along with it Okay, and now you can see over here that it did a pretty good job as well. And then the last option, the third technique, is by also clicking on the margin and then it will trace it for you. And you just click when you where you like it. That's my favorite one. And there you go. We have the margin very well defined. Okay, so now we got that done. We can start planning. And this will give us an approximate of the restoration uh, you can move this uh, recommendation of the restoration by making it bigger smaller and position it posi positioning it uh, in a better in a better way re uh, in relation to the neighbor teeth so we're going to start by making it bigger okay now we're going to position it better by moving it down okay i'm using the marginal ridges as a guide okay so we're gonna rotate this a little bit to lower this marginal ridge over here and this one we're gonna turn it around okay so now we can see that it's pretty well aligned 
with the other teeth. This is just an approximate, then we can play a little bit more. Okay, but now that it's looking pretty pretty accurate, we're gonna hit on design. And uh, now since we like what we saw over here, okay, see so as you can see we have the library A. This is what we chose at the very beginning but we can change to library C if we want to use a different anatomy. I'm not going to click on it because we will lose what we just did. But since this is looking very good, we're going to hit apply. And now the software is going to give us a design. Okay. And this is the restoration it's recommending us okay and it's looking pretty good there are some minor details that we can improve okay so we can there are some tools around here where we can change parameters here this is the spacer the space that we want for the cement how much we want okay so these are in how many uh, so usually we want to have like like 10 of spacer on the inside the crown and then how close we want that the margin to be completely in contact with the preparation okay so we can select how much we want and then we can come over here we can see the contacts, how are they looking? We're going to start with the interproximal contacts. So we're going to get rid of the preparation. First, we're going to look it from the occlusal view. Okay, so we can improve by adding a little bit of material over here. So we're going to get rid of this and we're going to add by coming over here. Um, on the freeform change tools and we can use the dropper tool we're gonna click on it we're gonna see over here that we have this um, I don't know how to call this like um, you you can tell the software how much when you click on the restoration how much you want to add so we're gonna place it right over there and how wide you want that addition to be we're gonna make it narrower and we're gonna add a little bit of material on this area okay that was that was a, maybe a little bit too much we can go back undo and we can add a little bit more by having this Okay, that looks better. Okay, we can smooth that out a little bit. Okay, we can add a little bit more. We're going to smooth it out. Ok, 
okay we can add a little bit more there so here you can you can see uh, what the colors uh, they represent if they are in contact or not so here we can see the blue is what is in contact so we're gonna add more material to all this area And we're going to smooth it out a little bit. Okay. Alright, so we have a better contact over there. If you see, there's like a little concavity here that we can fix. Okay, that is looking better. Now we're gonna do the distal. The distal, I think, is looking pretty good, but we can work a little bit on it. We're gonna add just a little bit. smooth it out that is looking pretty good now we're gonna have the opposing and if you click twice it will make it transparent so you can see where are the occlusal contacts now they are not in occlusion so we can add we can use another tool that it's we're gonna get rid of this and we have this will pull the whole surface okay if we turn this around we can click on it and it will pull the whole cusp whatever we did we, here's the undo button so we're gonna do that okay there's another tool where you can move the whole cusp okay we're gonna check on the occlusion again okay so we have a nice contact area there we're gonna use this one to
we can make this negative so instead of add material we can subtract smooth that out a little bit okay so the occlusion is better over there still we can do a better job with the buckle cusps Okay, we're going to check the occlusion. It's looking pretty good. We're going to remove a little bit here. And then smooth it out. Okay, so now we have a really nice restoration there that is ready to be milled. Okay. And that's it. That's what you're supposed to do for this exercise. If you have any questions, please look for me and I'll be happy to help you.